Hi everyone, my name is Noah and today I'm going to be talking about the collection um, Ephemeron by Fiona Benson. Uh, reading through it, I think it can be best summarised, I guess, as a collection in fractals and life cycles. The collection is split into four parts and those are insect love stories, boarding school tales, uh, t translations from the pacify and daughter mother. Insect Love Stories is a series of ecological poems, each one named after a different insect. Boarding School Tales can be, I guess, best described as like confessional poetry, and um, it follows uh, one of the narrators, because there are several, um, their journey through um, like boarding school as an adolescent. The third section, um, Translations from the Pacify, is um, a retelling of the story of the Minotaur from the perspective of his mother. Um, and it uses the story as an analogy for disability. So rather than literally being a Minotaur, um, the story is has become an analogy. And the last section, Daughter Mother, is, I guess, coming back to the idea of confessional poetry and telling the story of um, a, mo a mother with two daughters um, and set that's set in the modern day. Yeah, so we have, I guess, like four very distinct um, and very like thematically very strong sections that work as, you know, like each one works as its own mini section. You don't need to read them all together. But I think what they do is they complement each other quite well. Um, they touch on very similar themes of, you know, like womanhood and maternity and I guess like male hegemony and violence. Um, and they work very well together to, I guess, tell you this almost like kind of meta narrative. Those themes, I think, were particularly distinct in the Tales from the Pacify section. There was such a strong, I guess, like retelling or recentering is the word. The tone was this happened kind of just saying you know um the violence that occurred to women um in the bluntest of terms the real talk of um of violence and loss and grief um and all said like so matter-of-factly um there's a real i guess like survivalist into like the strength of um women and i guess the way that they've had to kind of also desensitize themselves and it really kind of sets up um what felt like a, a history the narratives in daughter mother and boarding school tales their actions were not in a vacuum. It's very much a, there's very much a sense that they are predicated on a history. And what was I think really interesting throughout the collection was this kind of layering of the sem semi autobiographical parts of the collection. So we would go through insect love stories, and I, it would take you around the world, and you have this kind of really visceral imagery of like like thoraxes and body parts and like um, very dehumanizing language um, and then you would go to boarding school tales and it would I think really ground it back into um, modern day. So overall I would have to say this is probably one of my favorite collections that I've read in a really long time. The use of imagery throughout is so unique and varied and rich um, and there's a real sense of um, like different kinds of poetry and a real range of that. Um, there's you know uh, more prosy poems, especially for um, the first part of the um, collection, and then you have very um, different use of forms. Um, there are shape poems throughout, um, a much more poetic language use in some parts. And there's also kind of really interesting language in the. Uh, translations from the pacify section which um, kind of use the language of translation um, and like I said before that it comes across very like matter-of-fact um, and 
there's a real, I think, power to that, which is really interesting. What I will say is quite a dense collection. Um, and it's not like a sit down in one session and read kind of vibe. <laughs> um, I think everyone um, will find something that resonates deeply with them because it touches on such universal themes um, and it also tells them in such different ways.